Let's talk about Batman, the new animated series that's coming out on Prime. Because, you know, they had to turn around and switch up the Penguin. I know I've already spoken about this, but there's been some added context to this issue. Okay, so the person behind the gender swap for the Penguin. You know, I had a comment saying, oh, maybe it's Penguin's mother. No, it's, they've actually, they're now confirming full up, it's a gender swap of the Penguin. One of the most notorious villains of the Batman series forever. And apparently the Penguin didn't have enough of a gimmick. So they had to turn around and make the Penguin female. Bruce Tim says Batman caped Crusader gender flipped the Penguin as Batman had a lack of good villains and he wanted more female ones. Jeez, you wonder, maybe this is why the Justice League came out? Maybe this is where the expanded universe of DC came out, bringing in many more DC villains and many more female ones, instead of them having to turn around and say, the Penguin's not diverse enough. Uh, the Penguin needs to be female instead of uh, male. Like, it... You know, Danny DeVito now apparently went through a sex change. That's where this is now with this situation. Maybe we, they just wanted Jim Sterling to have his own recognition in the Batman universe. I have no clue. This is absolutely ridiculous. Here's why the Penguin is gender flipped in Batman Cape Crusader. One of the biggest talking points surrounding Batman Cape Crusader was the gender flipping of the Penguin, often portrayed as a diminutive, gruesome looking gangster, the villain voiced by Mini Diver was reinvented in the Prime Video animated series as a brawly, brawly? Joe-stopping cabaret artist moonlighting as the head of the criminal organization. The Penguin then was just was the result of creator Tim uh, Bruce Tim and the executive producer James Tucker working at rounding out Batman's Rogues Gallery. Like the the Penguin has been a long stay character in the show for or in the Batman series for a very long time. I get it. If they want to change him up, change him up. But this doesn't really fit any sense of the matter. Uh, I remember, what was it, Gotham, uh, the, the TV show that was out there. Even the Penguin was in there, and, the, and I believe his mother was even killed. Um, you know, the Cobblepot family is one that runs deep alongside of the Waynes, and they've always been that rivalry in the Batman series, and you could have easily expanded on the Cobblepot versus the Waynes rivalry in the show there is so many more things you can do in that series but no they turn around and just say you know what it's not a gimmick enough that you know the penguin can be outfitted with tech that the penguin can sit there and take over the batmobile in batman returns no that's not gimmicky enough the fact that they had to turn around and make it female james and i were talking about the overview of the show and we said one of the problems with batman as he is is there's a lack of good villains. The Penguin, the telling of the Tim Burton's version of the Penguin, I thought was one of the better tellings of the Penguin of the history. Um, that probably is one that ranks up there at the top with Danny DeVito playing the villain very well. You got Catwoman, I would argue Catwoman is not a villain. Uh, you've got Poison Ivy, which in the newer series, she's no longer really a villain. She's just a Greenpeace activist. And then you got Harley Quinn, which she flips the tables more often than not. So they're more insanity out of the entire series. So you're, you're putting the Penguin up against Catwoman, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn. It, it, the Penguin is still way down at the bottom, no matter what you do the penguin it's not going to make the, that change uh but it would be really good to have more female villains how about cheetah from uh from the justice league there are many more that they could have brought in uh and at the top of the my head i said what if we gender flip the penguin it, it, it's not a good idea uh that in turn sparked tucker who spearheaded Cape crusaders 1940 style character designs into action so this is supposed to be like the animated series of a new version with uh with prime involved and i gotta say this idea i i it doesn't resonate with anyone um batman is sitting down there in, he's been exiled to the corner right now because he doesn't think it's very good <laughs> 
Oh, uh, I was thinking of Marlene Dietrich in her tuxedo and the cabaret, the musical and the art of the cabaret. And I just started drawing. Also, I was thinking a little bit of, of Harvey Bernstein and Hairspray and Divine. It was just like I instantly knew or knew instantly what it could be. I, I'm, I, I'm not buying it. You could have easily made a new villain at this point and added to the lore, added to, expanded to the Batman universe. Look at Harley Quinn. I went over this in the last video. I said Harley Quinn was, an, was a villain that was added into the show uh, as side with Joker. And when they added Harley Quinn originally, they're, they're, they built up a story. They did everything. But now it, this, is, this is the problem that we have with today's retelling of stories. They're doing these things just out of the sake of doing them. They're not doing it in, in such a way that makes sense to it anymore. They just say, oh, you know what? It needs to be more of a gimmick. From one of the many interviews, I literally clapped when I saw the penguin as a woman and heard Minnie Diver doing her voice. It was an unexpected and wonderful surprise. Why did you make that choice? Tim, James and I were talking the overview of the show and we said one, one of the problems of Batman as he is, is there's a lack of good villains. You have Catwoman, you have Poison Ivy, you have Harley Quinn, but it would be really good if we had more female villains. And off the top of our head, we never really could figure out exactly what would be the Penguin. What the gimmick for the Penguin would be, what if we gender flip the Penguin? It's all a gimmick and it's a joke. It's absolutely pathetic to see that they want to go this route with the Batman. Uh, why? It doesn't even make sense other than to fill your, your quota that you need to fill for that episode. It, you know what? The Penguin's not a huge villain to begin with. Uh, he easily could have been much more tech savvy. You could have easily written more things about the, the Penguin. But I think the idea that you turn around and say the Penguin is no longer this crime lord, this gangster uh, with high tech, now it's going to be a female cabaret star that's going to sit there and go after after Batman. Like, I mean, no, I'm not going to buy that. You could have easily made that as a different villain, as a new villain, someone that could have sided with the Penguin uh, quite easily. And then you would have added way more things you could have done to the story. You add a new character like that, you have a whole new lore, a whole new background, you can thus add to the story. But instead you turn around and say, no, we can't add this to the story. We just need to switch the, the well-known Penguin as it was to something that the Penguin never was. Anyway, I think this stinks to high heaven. I think this is just another version of what we're seeing in the narrative storytelling out there in the world for DC Comics once again. You wonder why DC and Marvel are failing flat on their face. At least Marvel right now has Deadpool and Wolverine going for themselves. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.